Like I say, we'll be cutting these just a hair over 11 inches. This will be the seat supports. Close that, and there's already cut. Of course, this would be on the inside. Well, it'd go on the outside, either one. Yeah.
this is an inch and a half. All this is an inch and a half. The width, all of it's an inch and a half, and all of it's three quarter inches thick. Now I'm gonna have some pieces here that are going to hook to the top of this. Now, they're only going to be like half of this, three quarters of an inch, or whatever's left after I split it down the middle. <laughs> Just to be the little short supports here on both sides. And the table's gonna lay on top of them. Everything will be flush. But I'll show you that in another video. Well, later on in this video. And there's what we're looking at to start off with. Like I say, there'll be some shorter, skinnier supports. They're only going to be like three quarters of an inch thick. One on this side, one on the other side. I'll cut them sometime. And then all we'll like is the seats, two seats for each one. And, uh, and then the, the, the tabletop itself. I think there'll be three of those a piece. And like I say, they'll all be an inch and a half a piece of this. But, uh, I'll get that later on in this video. <laughs> well, got the picnic table done. A little squirrel feeder, but uh, it turned out pretty good. But <laughs> can you see my mistake? This beam I got my thumb on. Should have went on the outside. And the whole time I'm thinking, you know, don't forget to put that on the outside. Turn him the other way. <laughs> and guess what? I, I didn't. I forgot to turn them the other way. And here we are. <laughs> other than that, it turned out pretty good. Pretty good. There's some, a few minor mistakes I made I can fix later. But that's the main one. Turn them, them the the wrong way of course i don't think the squirrel's gonna mind but uh i'll still sand her down and sit her out in the yard this one but uh just wanted to show you my little squirrel table for now but i'm gonna do another one and uh i see another one had two of these um seats on there but uh i think one of them's just fine them's an inch and a half all all these was an inch and a half. The only thing that was what an inch and a half was that little beam that goes across the bottom of the table. And I, I took the inch and a half and ripped it down the middle and got three quarters. Everything else is inch and a half. The, the ones going across and the legs and the tabletops and the, and the seats too. And it really turned out good like that. And of course the, the, the length of this beam was 11 inches. And my tabletop... I'm not sure it was it was 10 or 11 somewhere in there. I think it was just a little over 10 that was but uh and that was same for the seats too all them same but uh just wanted yeah, to show you yeah, 11 this. inches oh yeah one other thing the reason I went Flush over here, if you want to put a board and mount it to a, a tree, you can. Of course, I've seen others do that too. And uh, I'm going to make some that way and some with it's just evened out where you can set it on the ground if you want. But uh, I'll give people a choice of what they want anyway. Yeah, just one more thing on this build too. These legs here, I think I went five five inches well, from long to long it'd be about five but if the next set I do I'm gonna I think six inches would be a better a better measurement for those it's just a little little bit short that way there but yeah anyway that's this video here and I got my sled fixed good. It ain't a teeter-totter no more. <laughs> I 
I kind of straightened out the bottom with the Yeah, and I am going to do a build on this on this table when I get it the way I like it anyway. And uh also I'll do a I'll do a video on that. Where if someone wants to build one they can. These these five hundred more around on the internet though if you want to go find it and, and a lot of different designs. I kinda of like this and pretty good, simple. Stick with inch and a half the whole way except for them beams on the bottom. You can cut them in half and get your three quarters. Everything else is inch and a half. And as far as the lengths, again, like I say, the tops was 10 inches and the beams was, I think those were 11. But uh, when I do a build, I'll share the right measurements with you. And again, those legs, I'm going to go with six inches next time at least. Thanks for watching.